Hi everyone, this is Shelley Rodrigo, your Cruise Director for English 102 this summer. Uh, it'll be a fast and furious five weeks. I'm breaking this intro video into two parts. The first part will kind of, sh I'll quickly go through the technologies, and the second part I'm going to try to explain um, the philosophy of the course, how it's structured, and how you'll kind of work through it. Okay, so uh, you have three major technologies for this course. First, here's the course website. Uh, I know, it's a little plain Jane. I decided to roll with Google Sites this time. Um, don't be surprised if it starts to get a little dressed up throughout. We'll see. It may stay plain Jane. Um, but Google Sites is where it's a typical website. Most of your links will be over here on the left. Um, please note there's an announcement link that will give you the full announcements, although on the front page over here on the right you kind of get the teasers of what the announcements are. Um, there is a link over here to Enhanced Insight, which is the second technology. So Enhanced Insight, you have to purchase um, a code to access this. The code, uh, if you already got the Wadsworth Guide to Research, I'll put this in the announcements. If you already got the Wadsworth Guide to Research, like a used copy of it, and you need the code just for this and the, the electronic handbook, um, you can purchase that. You don't have to purchase all three bundled together again. So I'll post that link in the announcements when I'm done with this video. So we have this first. Um, second, over here is Enhanced Insight. When you first log in, it should, well, you first have to associate with the class. But when you first log in, your class should be listed. And there's a bunch, what you'll get is assignments is kind of the first place. But notice down here, we have discussion over here on the left, discussion. A lot of your work will also happen here. So notice all of your names. And so all of your, where it says blog, uh, it means post to your discussion board. So say my name was Scott Ash. So Scott, thank you for letting me channel you for a minute. When you're ready to post stuff to your discussion board area, your blog, you're going to click on your name and then you're going to hit reply to this topic. And that's how you will do that. Um, please notice the very first one, questions, concerns, suggestions, and help. If you have questions, come here, post it. Um, Sean tried posting his own new topic, but um, post it and then all of us will go in there and try to reply. Okay, that's the first thing about this. Second thing, um, course website should show up on the left here, and if it doesn't for some reason, Go up to your user info, and where it says use class homepage link, click yes instead of no. And then that will make sure on your class that course website, and that'll just take you back to this page. So I'm just trying to make sure they're interchangeable. Um, OK. Uh, so first, a lot of your work in here will take place under discussion. That's where you'll post a lot. Uh, your major writing assignments, you'll be dumping over here in assignments. That's also where I'm having you put the um, syllabus contract. So you'll come here and you'll submit it. Um, however, notice over here there's ebook and resources for writers. You will have assignments reading and working out of those as well. Uh, personal tutor, that's a very cool thing. You have paid for a writing tutor. So um, there's probably going to be points in the course where I'm going to suggest, hey, you might want to go use the personal tutor and have them look at this, have a draft. I mean, you've paid for it. Why not have another set of eyes look at it? Uh, InfoTrack is research. It's another database, kind of like the library databases. And you'll be able to use that like another one. I'll probably assign something specific with that. So hopefully that will uh, work. Now, the one thing that's over here is gradebook. Yeah, that's not where the gradebook's going to be. There's your, your third technology. You all have Maricopa, oh, that would confuse you. Let's hide that. That's not what you, you all have Maricopa Gmail accounts. Uh, it probably wouldn't have the ninja theme going on. Uh, but when you log into your Maricopa Gmail account, up here in the far left corner, there's links that say calendar documents. I'm going to share a Google spreadsheet with you all that will be your grade book. And so it, any, once I've shared that, you can click on documents and it should show up on a list here. And it will look something like, let's go see if we can try to find a um, old one so you have an idea of what it will look like. La la la, I know I have a blank one. Come on. Maybe I don't should have a blank one. Well, it'll look something like with your name, blah, 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 grade she sheet. I'm just trying to find you a blank one so you can see what it'll look like on the inside. Well, you'll see that soon enough. But that's going to be how you'll get your grade sheet. I'll show